get an analog camera to shoot some analog photos maybe advise me what analog camera I should get yeah and um, how's business going um I wasn't online for like two weeks here but business was um, is a little bit more now I do two music videos at the moment one for a German rap dude one for a female singer Schlager sänger as we call it here in Germany and um, I had a little Photo shoot and I was on a CCV fair. I had two shooting, two, two full eight hour, nine hour shooting days on a little IT customer development fair. Was uh, go to meetings was my client, and yeah, that was a lot of stuff to do actually recently, which is which is good because we all want to make some money. I'm recently in Joe Rogan podcasts. I think the pyramids are built from aliens or maybe from a lost ancient civilization. I think that Atlantis has existed and yeah, well, I like these topics a lot and the, if you don't listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, um, I can highly recommend it because I think that's that's a pretty cool podcast. And um, yeah, sorry for being not online in the past two weeks because um, yeah, like I said, I had a little bit work, I will be a dad, and I had a little bit stuff to do, and um, my my business is developing actually pretty good, I liked it, and I don't, I don't need social media for my business, I don't need Instagram, I don't need YouTube, I had actually one client, or maybe two clients, who found me over YouTube, and that's it, and all my other clients I get from other stuff and what these other three stuff are, is are, or are I want to tell you in this video. So I made last year the transition from a 9 to 5 job to becoming a full-time filmmaker. I made basically last year um, something about something one under 100k last year and I had my 9 to 5 job and then I transitioned to becoming a full-time filmmaker. How did I uh, achieve this? Um, so there is basically some points you have to have. Um, one of the points I think I give you here my three major tips on how to become an independent, not independent, a freelance filmmaker. Um, one thing is to have a good running website. I had my website even before I had my uh, my official business. I worked on the website on myself, and that's a, that's a little bit important. I think have a good website that you can show your work. Um, either you pay someone from Fiverr to make a website. I made my website by myself from WordPress. Press, and I still develop my website and I think that's a good way to show your client that you are a serious business partner because that you can protect can show your your work your references and that's basically the next point you need to have some nice references and what do I mean by that um, you need some some good videos but but what are good videos? You want what kind of videos do you want to show your next client? Is it a nice vacation video? Is it a cool car porn or a, a nice portrait of a beautiful girl with some portraits? I think that's also good because you can say you can show what you can what you are able to achieve. But some companies want to see other companies. Maybe when you work for a restaurant, they want to see some restaurant work, and then you get some new some new restaurant work because they want to see what they are already interested in. When they see that you have worked with some nice companies, then they see, oh well, that's a reliable business partner. He worked with some good major companies, and that's how I got bigger and bigger companies. I worked for Westalpine, which which is a billion million dollar company, and I worked for Bayer and. I worked for some other good companies and recently I worked for GoToMeetings which is also a big big 
Webcam, like web, no, video call platform, customer care platform, AI, blah, 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 like Zoom or whatever. And these companies want to see equal good companies that they see, okay, that's a business partner, I can work with them. And last year I had a situation where I made on one weekend the whole year salary I had on my day to 9 to 5 job. My 9 to 5 job was basically, I was a, um, a, some kind of fitness instructor in McFit in a fitness studio. I worked there 20 hours per week and I made per month maybe 750 euro and on one weekend then I made the whole year salary and then I told my boss I want to quit this job because I don't have no time anymore for you and um, that was like not a not a quick thing I prepared here months and weeks before that I want to quit my job and for me was the transition not so ultra quick for me was the transition pretty slow um, I worked for maybe four or five years with basically zero zero income I was happy when I made maybe 150 euro and my way to become a full-time freelancer was actually um, pretty long long investments in gear in myself and um, in in my equipment to become a reliable company man it's still ultra cold in berlin germany and today is the ele uh, 11th of march and theoretically will i be a dad in approximately three or four days so that's interesting <laughs> and yeah let's see how that goes i hope i hope that was that that will be cool I'm excited, we are happy, and yes, let's see how that goes. The last thing you need when you want to work with big clients is like the business mind. You have to be like this shark in the ocean, like the shark in the tank or how you call it. You have to be like a, a ice cold business mind to work with these companies. Because what do I mean by that? You, you have to you have to treat your customers like shit. No, not actually like shit, but um, some customers demand a lot of work from you and they want to give you uh, the least amount of money possible and that's not the right customers you have to look for for the real customers the better customers and you have to value yourself towards these customers big companies pay big money and when you undervalue yourself let's say when you work with, with some companies you make good money but you under your value yourself you attract these cheap companies which want to spend the little amount of money possible but that's the that's the wrong company to work with i think and how can i say that well um, when you go to a car dealer and when you you see a car on the one side it costs 35,000 euro uh, some kind of nice car and you see on the other side almost the same car and it costs like uh, 10,000 euro then you think immediately well the 10,000 euro car cannot be as good as the 35,000 euro ca car and the next point is then when you value yourself even a little bit more pricey than the other 35,000 euro car you value yourself um, a, a little bit more pricey then he thinks well what is this why is he a little bit more pricey and that is your extra service people like extra service people like things they can hardly afford or have just the ability to afford it just yet because then they think well that has some valor to it what do i mean by that um you can offer more services you can offer additional photos you can offer extra review feedback you can uh, you can offer them more edits you can offer them a social media edit a trailer and you can offer them maybe better service i offer all my clients for instance um, professional um, pre-talk of professional vorgespräch i always say um, either in the office here in berlin or per webcam that we talk about the project that we plan the project as good as, as we can to have a nice video because i say always a good planning is half of the commercial video and people like this people like a good planning there's a there's so much of a difference if you go just out to a customer you've spoken maybe once with him and then you shoot or you talk four hours five hours make a script make a plan and then execute a commercial video that's basically a huge difference people like that and you can charge because of that a little bit more so good commercial videos big clients like good pre-planning they like of course also a nice big camera and equipment you need basically a big ass camera 
nice equipment, nice light and audio equipment. That's the harsh truth. You need basically good equipment. Um, but they also like nice pre-planning. That's ultra important in my opinion. Yeah, well, I wasn't online like in two weeks here, sorry for that, but um, I, I, I really enjoy making these YouTube videos, but I don't need, I don't need my YouTube, I need my YouTube channel for myself, I like every one single of you, and we are over 2000 people there, congratulations, um, watch my little 2000 subscriber special here, that's basically a stupid phone video, and um, yeah, that's cool, we are 2000 people, um, 2000 people on this journey becoming maybe a freelance filmmaker or maybe if you want to become a freelance filmmaker then write a question in the in the comments I am a, such a small channel that I can answer every comment I answer almost every comment in my comment section on my channel so if you have any questions um, then please tell me and if you have recommendations for a good analog camera then tell me because I want to purchase an analog camera which will be Pretty cool, I think, then let's go on the analog journey. And yes, we had over 2,000 people. And what I wanted to say, yes, um, the cool thing is I don't need my YouTube channel or any social media for my company. I had one client who found me over my YouTube channel, but besides from that, I make all my money and all my customers come not from the YouTube channel, they come not from Instagram or social media. You don't need a good social media account. You don't need 10,000 followers. You don't need 40,000 followers. You don't need even one follower to become a successful business. I know people making almost 200K per year with the video business and they have like 200 followers on Instagram. You don't need this. That's completely separate team. You can maybe have some good money and you can make some money with social media but for me i don't need this nobody knows me and i think it's cool when when you're the underdog nobody knows you but you make good work and you work for good companies that's cool i like this so see you in the next video subscribe to my little youtube channel if you want i go home now because it's ultra cold in berlin germany on the 11th of march yes see you in the next video